Don't suck at it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <gasps> Girl! Girl! Keep it together. Girl! I ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. Another an fifty smackaroos. If you more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Tell me all the things. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? Is that my pimp? It feels like the voice of the vampire feel like it's my created pimp. me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Ooh. Excuse me. I got the good suck from an important person. Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. Or is someone who's playing an interesting game. A vampire? <laughs> is that what I am? What we I are. say. Such interesting. A crude indeed. word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon. Ekon. And you shall remain. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Unlike that guy. Are that guy on the left. Ekon too. He is not yes, part I of am. the Ekans. We are the closest <laughs> He's part thing of the to snacks. what man refers to as vampires. <laughs> you turn Ekans around. You, know you got snacks. And everybody likes snacks. You just eat snacks, you eat some chips, you eat some some homeless people. Tasty. I don't <laughs> understand. Why was I created and then left for dead that is a question only the one who made you can answer it's not normal that's practice. not a woman <laughs> doubt, even if you find him he will answer you considering how cruelly he treated you so me being a vampire could have been a mistake i very much doubt it jonathan contrary to the legends it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone how are vampires created? I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential project. That's just... They're just a regular human being. <laughs> to sire an offspring, 
They must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Yeah, they gotta drink my, my tasty blood. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain. More than lightly, it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Prewen? Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. It has a lot of dialogue. You yeah. make them sound like some sort of cult. PC. Play not PC. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone. But it seemed they have been recruiting. Yeah, they have. See those motherfuckers every black. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? It's a Sherlock game. I do not see why With not. Zach. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Bum, bum, bum. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. Over the rain job, I'm agreeing with you. It definitely time, tests my limits of patience. I've never seen it like this. Like, I love it. The story and dialogue are excellent. Some of the dialogue options are enraging. The combat is fun. The environment is cool. The powers are awesome. There's so much talking. I feel like I'm just talking. It's, it's like soap opera. Playing a soap opera. Vampire soap opera. The Spanish people <laughs> have London that bad. Yes. But it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. That's a shame, because I fucking love it. Combat's what fun as fuck. What do you know fuck. about this Brotherhood <laughs> of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London vampire society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then? No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type yeah, of tell me about Scowls. Scowl. Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. 
It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Yeah, I'm excited for Convene too. Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. <laughs> Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. I bid you farewell for now, my lady. Cool. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. What the fuck? Andal, what the fuck? I thought you had scouts. <laughs> I wanna play Vermintide with you, you dingus. You do <laughs> At least 70 years old. Uh, t -t -t I feel really bad we shut down the fucking clinic. Like, I feel awful we shut down that clinic. That's, that's jank. That's jank as fuck. Alright. Regen, stamina, blood. We've made- we got serums. Two health potions. We'll make those. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Damn. Alright, that's the beginning of chapter 3, so I think we can end the vampire segment of the stream. And we can play some video games with a little more action. Where are we at? Three hours. I, I want to see these other ultimates. I kind of want to see the other ultimates. What do you guys think? You lose control with the beast, take over, teleport to all enemies, and strike them with furious blows. Focus your power to boil your target's blood, causing it to violently explode. Exploding blood powers, guys. Seems pretty cool. Pretty key. Could go more though. I haven't decided. I will upgrade some of those. All right, we're gonna get the exploding blood power. Confirm. I want to see the exploding blood power. <gasps> Reports of disappearances have escalated in the past weeks. It has reached the point where witnesses have to queue before recounting their testimonies to an officer. Holy shit. Oh, I guess. All of this phenomenon appears to be a nationwide occurrence. The statements of the last 24 hours have converged around a single area in the, co in the country. Whitechapel, London. Yes, once more the despised and loathed East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities, even while numerous families in this, from this district report the unexplained disappearances of, of relatives and neighbors. What has happened to these missing individuals? Where are they? The only link between them seems to be their health and the need for urgent medical attention. Until recently, it was a local secret that only place to get help was a 
and was a discreet dispensary managed by unidentified good Samaritans. But the place now seems to be closed, and no one has any news from that facility. Did the missing persons go to a more secret place? Have they been discreetly moved to a more official service? One day soon, the, the London City Council's Board of Health will have to answer for this new mystery. Damn. Things are critical here. I gotta help these people. Any fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. Migraine, fatigue. Cold, yes. bronchitis. Kuzo Kosen, thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Headache. I don't know how many drugs I can make, but I gotta make a lot of drugs. I'm only, I just started chapter three. I don't know how many chapters there are, so I really can't tell you how far I am, but that's as far as I am. We got, we need all the fatigue. Make as much fatigue cure as we can get. Everyone is fatigued. I think I saw, I think I saw bronchitis. There was a cold. Pretty sure there was pneumonia too. Can't make that no more. Alright, we gotta cure some bitches. Dr. Good Sucks coming! He's gonna get it! <laughs> Dr. Good Sucks gonna save the day! Out of my way! I got people to save. I lied, I wanna keep playing a little bit more. I gotta, gotta save them, them poor chillins. <laughs> oh, my poor babies need Dr. Goodsuck. I don't know. I feel a call to action. Call to save these poor people. Probably go another hour. Ah! Okay, we're good. I don't know. I cut. Wait, 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 wait. How do I? How do I change my ultimate? Because I have to try the blood cauldron. <laughs> oh, and I have to wait 99 seconds. I, yeah, I wish I was him. Look, he's a doctor, he's a vampire, he's fucking dashing, he has excellent clothing. What, what is not to want? What is not to <laughs> I would be the best vampire. I would just throw parties. I'd be like, come on over. Come on. <laughs> it seems I must go, my ass is so, so going to explode. Random guy, lol. I wish you luck peeing out of your butthole. Good luck with that diarrhea. A doctor would prescribe some water after that shit. And maybe some huggies and some lotion. I don't know. <laughs> Not huggies. Not, huggies is what I was thinking. What are those like nice wet wipes? Some like wet wipes? Some lotion? Some... <laughs> Be sure to be sure to drink lots of water when you're done peeing out of your butthole, cause uh, cause you don't you don't want uh, you don't want to get dehydrated from your severe severe diarrhea, random guy lol, very severe. <laughs> I cannot enter. It's critical over here. I got shit to fix. I'm the doctor. Out of my way. I got it's doctoring locked. to do. Hey boy, I hear you've got fatigue. Let me fix How that for you. Boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. Here's some medicine. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Get fucked. Goodbye, young. Goodbye, young man. Goodbye, young man. All right, that's one. That's one saved brosive. Save this guy. Oh shit! Did I get migraine medicine? I hope I got migraine medicine. Good evening, Ben. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? Oh, I see. Damn it! I don't have the migraine medicine. 
shit. <gasps> Oops. No, 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 no. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that guy almost died. That guy. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that rat though. Mm, tasty rat blood. Give me the rat blood. Of blood. Shake my damn head. I didn't make. I didn't make fucking medicine. I'm so upset. I didn't make fucking medicine for for migraines. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. I get that. There you go. How do you feel? I would not. I am going to give yes, you some bronchitis do. medicine. Because I'm this. going to cure this you place. You feel better. I said Please. I don't want anything. I'm going to do it. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. That's right. Healthy. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor. He's recovering. He's recovering. We gotta get this guy has the common cold. Nithercot. These people have fatigue. Who's Christina Papa? Oh, the whore! The whore! Where's my whore? Where you at, whore? I got got something for you to stick in your mouth. <laughs> hey, hey! You know what the best part is? You gotta pay me. <laughs> Damn right, the prostitute's fatigued. She spent up, spent the whole night sucking wingles, wingles, sucking all them dangles, wingles and dangles. A prostitute's diet by Ravox. My boyfriend is playing State of Decay and didn't know what euthanize meant, so he accidentally killed Steve. I don't know who Steve is, but that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, euthanize is not, not good. Bite me, Ra. How hard. <laughs> hmm. Get out of my way, Barry. Rip Steve. Steven got killed. No, no, Steven. It was it was Steve with a V, so it wasn't you. If you were sick, I would not cure you. <laughs> Christina the whore. Hello, Christina the whore. Good evening, Christina. Good evening. Change your mind, Mr. Reed. It's Mr. Doctor Reed. God. Do you need any assistance? It depends. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. What do you know about me? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yet. Oh, Goodbye. shit. Goodbye. Uh, is there... Where's my hideout? Take me to my hideout, because I have lost it. I need to find the cure for... Oh, shit. What do you mean unknown? That's that Albert kid. That's that, what? Does Albert have a twin brother? How do I get to my house? Oh yeah, it's up here, I think? Jesus. What the fuck is going on here? Ooh, rats. This is despicable. Is this my house? I cannot enter. No. Where the fuck is my house? No, 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 no. I have this thirst for blood. Uh, I don't remember where my house is. Is this not it's it? It's locked. Why is the door locked? How do I get my house? You seem better now. By the way, it's not diarrhea. <laughs> I 
Are you sure? Oh, a ring. No, 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 no. This is despicable. Uh, okay, so we know that there is an ass to the blood here. I guess we'll follow these blood trails. Six citizens can be healed with the appropriate treatment. A healthy citizen helps contribute to the raising health status of the district. <sighs> is this my house? What are we doing here? What's going on, yo? This doesn't look like my house. I don't remember killing people. Well, I mean, I do remember killing people, but I don't remember killing these people. I definitely would have looted if I had killed these people. I know my own methods. They involve loot. Man, a lot of rings and cigarette cases here. Smokers. Hey, I did find a new hideout. Ah, now I can make my cure for... What did he need? Oh, he had... He had migraines. I don't have the ability to cure migraines. Yeah, recipe unknown. Ah, so I actually can't help that bastard. What was the point of that? Why couldn't I just come in this floor? They're like, there's loot on the first floor. Okay. <laughs> Where's the other door take me? It's true. I have been known to suckle at times. Suckle from the teat of victory. Cause I'm a badass. Ah. Yeah, it's good. It's fun. Blood explosion! <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Oh, they're dead. It's very dialogue heavy, though. If you want a game that's not super duper di dialogue heavy, this game's not for you. Vampires drink blood. This may be their most specific trait, the sinister peculiar peculiarity of their condition, if I may say so. But for me, this is not the most important characteristic of their diet. What has always fascinated me, since I started to study them, is the imperative need for the blood they seem to endure. They want it more than anything, and the desire can drive them to expose themselves, and when they drink it, they seem to feel some sort of so, short trance, an ecstatic epiphany. Said to me once, a Volkhod I interviewed in Moscow. I'm convinced that this is an essential element to understand the nature and condition of vampires. They don't drink blood because it sustains them, but it offers them ecstasy. Vampires are addicted to blood, all of them. It is part of their nature and those among the mortals who refuse to submit to their appetite by the strength of their will only are never freed from this addiction. From the Unveiling Night. Well, that's really cool, actually. My ass is vain. I'm a badass. That is, my ass is quality. Quality ass. Must be pretty good. Thanks, Killer. Killer Vic. Uh, that's your name. Sorry. <laughs> you like Sherlock Holmes stuff. It is, there's a lot of Sherlock Holmesy stuff going on here, for real. Um, it's a lot of quests and investigations and dialogue trees that you can never save scum. Ever. Just can be frustrating. Hmm. 
Ooh, sounds like there's some friendos back here. Let me just dig through the trash to find some grease and screws. Part of my favorite diet. Grease, screws, blood, cigarettes, and rings. Oh no. I already cured your uh, affliction. Um, I can't cure his migraine. I don't know how to cure migraines. How do I get to the church? Where's the church? Where's the actual chapel? Oh boy, chapel. It's that way. But there seems to be a side quest here where there used to be a clinic. Before I ruined that for everyone. Dorothy Crane. Level 24. 